Hey y'all, it's Alexis. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my TTC must-haves. So to give you a little background, my husband and I tried to conceive, I'm going to say for a little over seven months. We had tried a little bit before he had left for a deployment for just a few months and then we started seriously trying when he got home and that process was seven months. And during that time, I learned a lot about the things that I thought I needed, the things that I kind of needed, and the things that I really, really needed. So today, I'm going to share with you all my must-haves and kind of just give you some reasons why I think that they are so important and why I think that they could help you to conceive. So the very first thing on my list is ovulation tests. And not those ones from Target. You know, you can go to like the pharmacy section, you can get the Target ones. Well, I tried those out and I just felt like uh, A, they were expensive and B, they just did not work. I could not figure out my ovulation time period. And the hard part was is that they were so expensive that I couldn't, um, I couldn't test enough to actually find my window. Like I had to kind of have an idea of when I was ovulating. If you don't know how to read ovulation test, make sure you check out my video. I'll link that below. Let me show you guys the ovulation test I ended up loving and I think I got two boxes of them. So here they are. This is by Pregmate and I got these on Amazon. I'm not exactly sure on the price, but I think this one was, says you get 30 in here. Um, so they come in a little packet like this. And on the back, it shows you exactly how to read it. Now, if you wanna learn how to read the OPK test, like I said, you can go down below and uh, I have a video on exactly how to do that, how to find your ovulation time. But having a ton of these is super helpful, especially not spending and wasting a lot of money because I didn't realize how many things I was gonna end up needing while we were trying to conceive and I mean, that stuff adds up pretty quick. The next thing on my TTC must-haves is fertility tea. So I recently just did a video talking about my absolute favorite fertility teas. So I'm gonna show you it again. It is the Pink Stork Fertility Tea. Not only are they a Christian company, uh, but the owner is a military wife, and of course that just hits home for me. But I use this for about three months prior to actually becoming pregnant. So if this is truly the reason why I got pregnant, I don't know, but um, I just felt like so many of just the herbs and all the stuff in it do help to prepare your body. And to be honest, it's just an awesome product. So if you wanna see that review, I'll link that below as well. The next thing that I started doing uh, during the cold months, so we got pregnant in November, so I think it was October, November I did this, I had heard and they kind of did a little research that wearing socks can sometimes help you to get pregnant because basically when your feet are cold, that makes your uterus cold. I don't know, this is some Chinese medicine thing that I heard, but I thought I would try it and I'm gonna swear by it because I mean, I got pregnant pretty fast after that. So I really, really like that idea. It's super simple just to wear socks or wear an extra pair of socks. I also would wear slippers around the house. If you're like a slipper person, I would also wear slippers all day. So like pretty much never take them off. But if you're not a socks person, definitely try wearing socks. Number four is charting apps. So whether you actually use an app or you use like a journal or something like that, really doesn't matter. You just need to learn how to chart your cycle. My favorite app was Natural Cycles. I actually used it prior to getting pregnant um, and trying to get pregnant. I was just using it to prevent pregnancy and I really liked the app. So I continued using it and it worked out awesome. It really was good at predicting when I was actually ovulating. Now, I'm trying to think back now. On my chart, it did say that I ovulated, I think, I think the day before uh, what my midwife told me. So it was right around the, that time. So it's definitely very accurate, but learning your cycle is going to help you to be more accurate in knowing you know, when you should try and when you know maybe it doesn't matter so much. There are people who say things like they told us, oh, try, you know, every other day, start every day, like doing all that stuff. 
And like, to be honest, when we just stopped trying to worry about all that is when it happened. So I don't know. I don't really have an advice on that, but just know your cycle. I think it's just helpful in general. Number five is a prenatal vitamin. This is something I really struggled with. So I started taking a prenatal vitamin, uh, I think four months before we actually started trying. My doctor told me it was super important that if you are in the childbearing age, you should be taking prenatals almost all the time in case you get pregnant. It's really important to have that folate in your system. So I have tried a few different ones, um, which I won't link because I didn't like them. They made me really nauseous. And my doctor suggested just to go get a generic one. So the Nature Made Prenatal is what I have been taking for my whole pregnancy and for the four or five months before I got pregnant. This stuff is awesome. Really, really liked it. Uh, it does not make me nauseous. I and mean, you just take one a day. And it's also on Amazon, which makes it even better so you can just prime it to your house. And there is 250 tablets, so it will hold you over for a while. The next thing is something that I also recently did a review on, and that is the Food for Pregnancy book by Lily Nichols. This book is amazing. I'm telling you, I, you have to just go watch the review because I like give you a whole outline of why I love this book so much but it helped me to learn what foods my body should be consuming because that is gonna help you to get pregnant. And some advice that my doctor gave me was eat like you're already pregnant. So this book really helped me to do that. She gives so much detail, it's, it's really good. Like I said, I'll go ahead and link below the review that I did on this video if you'd like to know more about it, but it's definitely a must have. Number seven is a basal thermometer. Okay, I should have put this up with the charting, but that's great, you guys get it. So here was my basal thermometer. Why this is so important is because the last two digits of it is what is going to help you to see when you would ovulate. And again, that kind of goes along with the charting thing. But this one right here I got from, it was through Natural Cycles and I really, really liked it. It has worked really well, it's been very accurate. But just don't go grabbing a cheap one. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say that they're not very accurate. So making sure that you get a good thermometer is super important in the TTC process. Number eight is cheapo pregnancy test. So when we first started trying to conceive, I had bought some first response tests because everybody said they're super accurate. You can get test results pretty early and I wasted a lot of money. <laughs> I think it's super easy to waste money that way. Uh, so I ended up buying uh, two first response tests and a clear blue digital test and I kept them in my cabinet for when I got my first uh, test that looked like positive on the cheapies. So here are the cheapies that I got. They are again by Pregmate on Amazon. I'm going to be honest with you. So I will use these again when we try to get pregnant um, for our next. But these are not going to be as accurate as your first response. So when I took this test the morning of, I mean, I was probably, I want to say like 9 DPO, maybe 10 DPO, somewhere around that area. And it was incredibly faint. And when I took the first response, it was super duper dark. And it even came up positive on the clear blue digital. So this right here, like if you are wanting to test super early, probably not your best bet, but uh, it's definitely worth it because for myself, I found that waiting to test not so early actually worked out better. The only reason why I had tested actually at nine or 10 DPO, whatever it was, um, I feel like it might even been later than that, I don't remember. When I was testing, it was just because our parents were coming and I didn't wanna miss a window to be able to surprise them with the pregnancy if I was pregnant. So that's why I had taken it, but I had actually, started taking pregnancy tests as soon as I missed my period. And I just found that for me, uh, there's a lot less anxiety and there's something exciting <laughs> about going to take a pregnancy test as much as it's scary, it's exciting. And that anticipation is a way better feeling than seeing a negative pregnancy test and then worrying that this is not the month again, all the way until you get your period. So. Like I said, I would suggest these though. I think they're awesome pregnancy tests. So here they are, you can get them on Amazon. Okay, number nine is some vitamins. 
I actually was just having a conversation with my mom today about this, that vitamin C and vitamin D are super important, regardless if you are trying to get pregnant or not. I rarely get sick and I'm telling you it's because of this and kombucha. <laughs> but um, these are the vitamin C I gummies I get. Uh, a lot of people don't like them because they've got sugar in them, but I like that they're gummies. They go down easy. That's why I do these. And then I also have the vitamin D3 and I just take one of these a day, one of these a day, and my prenatal, and I'm still doing that now. And it just it seems to work out, seems to be working out great. But there are so many benefits to actually taking vitamin C and vitamin D. They say that it helps with fertility. So I don't know if this is true or not, but definitely should give it a try. It's worth it, it's not gonna hurt you to have more vitamin C and vitamin D. Last but not least, this was something that was recommended by some of my girls in the Bless Our Littles family. They said I should try eating avocados and pineapple. Now I love avocados, I love pineapple, and I eat them occasionally, but not nearly as much as I'd eaten them actually the month that we got pregnant. So I would have like in the morning avocado toast, and then usually like in the afternoon, I'd have like some pieces of uh, pineapple. I know a lot of people say that you should eat the core, um, I was not really about eating the core so much. I just, it was too hard and crunchy and I didn't really care for it, but I really enjoyed them as snacks. So if you like avocado and you can make it as guac or you can put it on like an avocado toast or even on a sandwich, I mean, it's worth it to give it a shot. So yeah. So anyway, these are my TTC must haves. If you have something that helped you get pregnant, comment below so that way the girls who are trying to get pregnant can kind of get some advice and some tips on how they can possibly get pregnant faster. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.